Tell you what, uh, uh, we're happy to have the, the two men that we have coming in. Um, the, the cornerback room, the secondary room has changed uh, this year with uh, uh, Tremont and Devon leaving, uh, and Jared being up in the air, and, uh, and the addition of, two, of these two men uh, is exciting. It's exciting for, for me as a coach to be able to, to, um, to take a new group of skill sets and, uh, and try to work as our team goal to win a championship. So uh, we're all excited about it. Uh, we're ready to get to work, talk to both of them. They're ready to come here and get to work. They're added to the room. Uh, nothing really changes with the way that we will approach the room. The best players will play. The next guys will sit there and, 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 and work to get ready to play. Um, are they going to play inside? Or are they going to play outside? We'll let, we'll let practice and, and all that figure that out. So I know that's going to be a question that I'm going to be asked. So you don't have to ask it. All right, we're going to let practice figure out where they'll be played. And um, we just, the main thing is that we're excited to have um, the skill sets that they bring uh, to our secondary. So. Joe, though, is it easier or does it make the adjustment easier for guys to start out either inside or outside, or, is, or does that not matter at all? Uh, you know, different guys are, are, you know, have different learning curves in that way. So what I'm going to do with both of them, I'm going to give them the opportunity to play the different positions, left, right, inside, outside, nickel, dime. And then once I get them here and understand what they can uh, uh, handle, then we'll move from there. But you really never know until you get them in a the room. Joe, what does it say about uh, Quentin that he has made football look so easy to play? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think this is an easy game in any way. So it would be hard for me to answer that question. I do know that. Um, his rare ball skills, that, that, that is something special, uh, the ability to get it. And he does make it easy to go get the ball in that area. But this is a hard game, and uh, he's going to have some challenges when he gets on this level, which all young guys do. You know, corner is a hard position to come in and play as a rookie. I mean, I, don't, I think there's one in the past 10 years, uh, one rookie cornerback that made the Pro Bowl. I think there's zero that have been you know, voted Rookie of the Year. Casey and, um, and um, the kid from St. Louis and one other kid were the only three that got votes for Defensive Rookie of the Year in the past 10 years. So it's a hard position to come in and play very early. So let's, let's make sure that we have other guys in the room that are going to have great opportunities to, um, to show that they're worthy of playing as well. As much as you like Quentin, is there still room to improve when he's only played one year? There's room to improve for everybody. I mean, not just him, everybody. Well, you know, most of the guys that, that, that you coach play basketball in high school anyway. So the, the, the skill set is, is something that, that you're used to. Um, it's more of the football knowledge is, is, is what, what we have to work with. The skill set part of it, all these guys play basketball. I mean, they play basketball every day between workouts. So um, I really don't focus on the basketball, baseball, other sport aspect of things, more of how can I get them to play a high level football. The basketball part of it, just staying in front of people, the, 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 the man defense aspect of it, the quick you know, foot ac action part of it. But other than that, you, know, you have to learn how to play cornerback. And um, I'm confident that I'll be able to get them up to speed. What you thought at you about Randall? Randall, you know, Randall has a, a skill set. You know, he's, he's very quick. He's, um, he, he, you know, he played the safety, so he was really in the slot a lot of the time. Um, quick bursts. Um, close. He was aggressive on coverage, and so he's a guy that's going to have opportunity to um, to, to play in, in, in a couple of different packages. How much? Is there any convincing for you <coughs> when you think, man, I got a guy who's played baseball, I got to play basketball? Is there any convincing on your part thinking if you guys think you can play out, go out there and coach them? Well, that's my job. Okay, my my job is as 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 a defensive back coach. Number one. To, to get my players to do what Dom Capers want them to do, all right? And, 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 and I don't care who they bring in the room. I'm going to coach them as hard as I can. 
and I'm going to get the most out of everybody that comes in that room if they're a number one or if they're a free agent. I really don't care. You know, I'm going to coach them as hard as I can for one goal, and that's, that's to win a championship. So if, 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 if it's a first rounder or a free agent, if you play well, you'll play. If you don't, you'll sit there and watch. I, I hope both of these guys don't think that they're going to come in just because of their uh, pedigree that they're going to necessarily play in front of anybody else. That does not, that's not how it works in our room. The best guys play. You know, I'm excited with their skill set, and I'm excited to add, add them to the room. But um, we have a lot of work. This is a young room. Only Casey and Sam have any experience playing defensive back in that room right now. You know, well, you know, if Micah, he's between safety and, and, and corner. So this is a young room. We have a lot of work in front of us. I understand the challenge that's in front of uh, myself and, and this group, but we're going to answer it. Uh, I'm very confident in, in the men that, that I'm working with. Mm -hmm. who had played one year of college football. Uh, you had, or one year of cornerback. You, you get Rollins now, who played one year of college football. You had Meech, who's still in your room. You had Jamal Roll, who come from a tiny school. Uh, Randall's been at safety the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. As a coach, is that exciting? And is there, a, is there a blank slate aspect of it where you're not having to have them unlearn things you don't like? Or what, what's the challenge there of having that many guys have that kind of work in front of them. To make well, the, the main challenge is how do we play winning football quickly? That's the main challenge. Um, I can get them, I'm not going to say I can get them, but they will get to be able to play and make plays and make splash plays here or there. But can they not make the mistake when you're in a big game? Can they be, play consistently? How fast can we get them to that point? Um, that, that is the difficult part of it because all young players make mistakes. I don't care if they played the position all the way through from grade school. <laughs> when you're a rookie, you make mistakes. And so um, how, how fast can we – and some of the mistakes, you just have to see it. You have to make it to learn from it. That's just football. But how fast can I expose them to hard situations um, and, and get them to feel comfortable, um, you know, out there and be able to play fast. Do, do Mike, and Mike or Dom ever tell you what they think of you as a coach, that you can handle this, or did they send that message by giving you guys like this? No, you know, I, I, I'm very fortunate to work for this organization and, and to work under uh, Mike and Dom. Um, when we do the contracts, that's when they let me know how they feel about me. And, and I'm here for another year, and, I, and, and I'm, I'm very humbled to have the opportunity to be here and work for this organization. But um, after I sign that contract, or it's, it's time to get to work. And, and, and I understand if I don't get the job done, there will be somebody up, else up here standing, just like my players understand. Hey, the best players play, the next guys watch. The same thing goes with the coaches. How much, how much value do you put in interceptions? I mean, Randall had a bunch. <laughs> You know, this guy had a bunch. I mean, not just deflecting the ball, but actually making a play. I guess when you're evaluating these guys, how much value do you put in the actual interceptions? You know, this is a passing league now, and interceptions, turnovers is, is, is a way that, that you can really change the game. So I value it. Um, I think we're very good at it. Six years we've been here, we're number one in the league by a good margin. Um, and, and I believe both of these guys have a skill set to get the ball, add it to what Sam and, and, and Casey can do and Micah. Um, that's very exciting, you know, the, the ability to be able to get the ball and, and, and go score with it. You know, most of the corners you see on film, you study on film, they're guys that have played cornerback for years on and consecutively. How different does Quentin look with just having those first years playing basketball, that break in between? Where, is he wrong in, in areas? Where is he at? With his well, you know, to be honest with you, he, he could bend. He, he, he can uh, motor mirror. He can do some of those things already. I mean, he was, I think, defensive player of the year. So he, he, he played high-level football in, in, in that conference. Um, he's going he's gonna to be fine. I, the, 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 the translation between, you know, I know everybody want to focus on the basketball aspect, and I, and I understand how exciting that is for, for the fans. But I really, I, I didn't watch him play basketball. I could, I, I watched what he did on the football field, and and that's the only thing that I, I care about. I don't know if Meach can play basketball. I don't know if any of these guys can play basketball, baseball. That doesn't, that's not my concern. What can he do on the football field? And um, 
I, I think they'll, they'll both be able to help us. Joe, if I heard you right, you, uh, okay. you said you think it's pretty hard for corners to come in and play right away. But if I think back to Sam's rookie year, by the end of that season, I think he was a fairly big contributor, contributor to you guys during the playoffs. Mm -hmm. so, so how much can you count on these guys, the two that you picked up this year? Do you have any idea yet? Well, you know, if you're thinking about Sam, I'm, I'm not trying to compare anybody to Sam in, in, in this aspect. I want to make sure we go out when we play the Bears the first game that we're playing high-level football, okay? I don't want to get into where we're two and three again or we're two. No, we, we, we have a team that can win every game that we line up and play, all right? I don't want to have a young guy or a guy that, that, that I'm responsible to give up an explosive, to give up. That's not, that's not what I'm looking for. So that's when I say playing good football, it's just it's difficult for corners to play high level. I mean, just just go back and look at it, and, and and all the guys that are playing high level now, look at their rookie year and see see where they were. Spoon, last one. Joe, um, when, when you compare where um, Sam was and where Rollins is, is the mental part the part that's going to be the hardest? Recognizing formations, recognizing. You know, formations? when I when I spoke with him at the combine, I was very pleased with his his knowledge of, you know, with only playing one year, I was pleased. He was further alone than guys that have been playing a, a long time. He's a smart kid. Um, um, so I was, I was happy with when I, when I gave him the test and the quiz, he, he, he performed re really well. Thank you. Thanks, All right, George. thanks, guys.